What is up guys? It's Gage here. Welcome to you Buck That. And today we're talking about the new hires for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Some defense, some offense. Now let's start an offense. New receiver, Brad Inskuk, or something like that. I can't his last name I couldn't pronounce, but he comes from Seattle, so Dave Canal is bringing his own guy. He uh so Brad he can, he's been with the Seattle Seahawks since 2019, up until he joined us. So he's been he's been with Seattle Seahawks for like four years. Came from the, he came from Stanford. He was a graduate assistant for 2014 to 2018. So he spent like four C, uh, four years with them. So he has he definitely has some experience on the offense. Kind of learned different systems. Um, and he's been an assistant receiver coach for the past four seasons now. Now it gets a chance to be the head, the head coach of the receivers. <laughs> so I'm really excited about this move. Um, Dave obviously has a lot of trust in him to put in position to be uh, control of the receivers and developing the young, uh, the younger guys like Devin Thompson. Those guys uh, bring him up to the next level this season. So I'm really excited to have him on board. Young dude, he's like 31. So we're getting a lot of youth on the offense now. And Dave Canal is like, he's like 41. So we're getting a lot of young people in now. That's kind of what we need. Um, and now we got, uh, now we got someone that's very special. Let's get Petey. He's been with the Dallas Cowboys for the past four seasons. Since 2020 to 2022, so actually three years. Um, did really excellent job with Tony Pollard since he's been with the uh, Dallas Cowboys and Zeke Elliott as well. Um, created one, a top five duo in the NFL. So it's like, we're, we're, uh, <laughs> I'm loving this offense. I am loving how this offense is. And even Dave Canell's interview, he's like, man, all you had to tell me is uh, they didn't really, uh, they didn't, uh, they're, they're number one, they're top five in. Allowing the the most least fumbles. Um, that's a, and he could drop the mic in that interview. So that really tells you they're very good at minimizing mistakes with their running backs, with Tony Ballard and Zeke Elliott. Um, so it's like, let's fucking go, let's fucking go. Um, Skip Petey is not as young; he's in his sixties, still uh, older. He's a little bit older, but uh, that experience comes in handy. Um, he actually spent some time developing Todd Gertley with the Rams. He spent he was from there from 2016 to 2019. So definitely has a lot of he's definitely developed some great running backs in the past decade. So I'm really excited to have him. And with Shub White, I'm having a good hold on that number one job. It's gonna up his uh, it's gonna up his value having a coach like that. With, um, train with him and developing him. So I'm really excited for that. And at a running backs, maybe Prashar, uh, Patrick Lard, who's currently on the practice squad, liked him in Miami, but get a little off subject. Um, so, so far, the offense is looking great. Dave Canales, I'm really happy to have him on board. My next video is going to be about his interview. Um, wonderful interview. I loved it. Um, but I'm going to save the juicy details for the next video. Um, so, so far, we, uh, the off how we're building our offense is really good. And also, Fab Lewis, uh, who's been the assistant receiver coach for the past three seasons, is now the quarterback coach. So, at least we don't have to go too much outside the box of hiring. So, that's good. Um, so, yeah, it's really turned out well. It's really turned out well. Skip Petey and Brad joined the staff. Uh, Fab Lewis getting promoted. I'm really loving the moves they're making here. And now it's good to defense. And this is a personal, I love this coach. Spent a lot of time in Minnesota from 2014 to 2021 as a defensive coordinator. George Edwards. Walk him aboard, my guy. Walk him aboard. He joins the Buccaneers as a linebacker coach. And I am so happy to have you aboard. Like, holy shit. Uh, he's been, uh, 
In 2021, he was the co-defensive coordinator along with Adam Zimmer um, with the Minnesota Vikings. Um, that was sort of more end of the era with the Mike Zimmer era. So not the best stats. But talk about the prime of the Vikings when Mike Zimmer was the head coach. In 2014, they went up to the 11th ranked on defense. George Edwards helped develop people like Anthony Barr, Eric Kendricks, Everson Griffin, uh, Daniel Hunter, all these guys. He had a big whole he had a big hand in developing these guys. And he's had a he's had a and also this is an opportunity, maybe Anthony Barr will join the Buccaneers now. He has a familiar coach that will be evolved in the, well he's already kind of developed like he's uh he's like a vet, he's like a 10-year veteran now but with a familiar face working with him i say if he, that might be more appealing to join the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and George Edwards he spent a lot of time with Tom Bowles they actually spent five years getting a total in 2003 Tom Bowles was with the Cleveland Browns 2003 or 2004 around that time uh, 2004, I think that's the right year. Um, he was a safeties coach, and and George Edwards was a linebacker coach. And then they both migrated to Miami Dolphins and spent like four years there from 05 to 2009. Uh, Todd Bowles was a safety coach once again, and George Edwards was a linebacker coach. So they spent a lot of time together. So Todd Bowles is kind of bringing his own guys now. They have a lot of familiar with each other, and I love this move, guys. I love this move because we got a lot of young guys that still need development, and it's just a, uh, and George Edwards has experience, and he has he has a resume to back it up. So I think that was a great move by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Todd Bowles and Jason. Good job, good job. I am loving it. I am loving it. And, man, we took some good coaches in Dallas. I can't believe they let them go. God damn. God damn, they let these oh, – man, we were just like, eh, hey, we'll take him, we'll take him, we'll take him. George Edwards joins. I want to welcome George, Brad, and also congratulate Fad Lewis on his promotion. Welcome, welcome, and I am uh, happy to welcome you to 10 Bay. I think with every sense going on, it's looking really good for the Tampa Buccaneers. I was a little nervous for sure, but how we're hiring these coaches and stuff, quarterback position is a huge question mark right now, which will be, which will be figured out. I uh, I have confidence in the leadership of Jason Lent and Tobbles, along with Dave Canal now as well. So I think uh, guys, our coaching staff is looking great. I am very excited for the season. And now we have a couple potential candidates for quarterbacks, which I'll be making a video on. So, yes, that is the new hire for the Bay Buccaneers. Making some waves, making some waves, making some waves. And which will help some of the players want to stay. Because these are working on some really good coaches now. Um, also... I want to congratulate Laura Locus on her new job in Tennessee Titans. I'm glad I was sad to see you go, but I am glad you got a new job in Tennessee. I hope that goes well for you, Lori, and congratulations. But yes, guys. Um, also, I will be. May, um, I'm going to still make videos about the Tampa Buccaneers this off season, but it's going to be majority about Tampa Bay Infernos and Guardians. So you'll be seeing a lot of videos about that. Really excited for you, uh, for you, uh, for you to check out that content. It's gonna be amazing. Um, and guys, like and subscribe, and uh, I hope you buck that.